Hello everybody. Um, as my schedule looks, I won't have the time to make any Champions League short previews uh, over the weekend or even early next week. So I decided let's look at the last few shirts here. Today I'm wearing uh, Portugal, uh, the Euro 16 winning shirt. If you saw my video from the morning, um, you know which day I'm recording these. I'm looking, I'm planning now to do four shirts all in one sitting and I will space them out. First one will be on Saturday, uh, the 15th and Sunday uh, 16th and so on up until Tuesday and I hope by then I have at least one more video made. But I wear Euro 16 but what we're gonna look at today are Euro 2012 jerseys because I actually have four jerseys from that particular tournament and we'll start with the first jersey uh, of the, that I got from the tournament also um, kind of the team that ranked lowest and that's of course the Netherlands Netherlands away I remember this was my wife and I just got together we moved in a new apartment uh, we had our older daughter and I uh, was living in uh, America North Carolina and of course I have been ordering from World Soccer Shop a lot and they sent me about once every two months a little catalog of the shirts they have and I remember that on the front of one catalog was Robin van Persie in this jersey when they played England at Wembley a game that I saw at that point the Netherlands were um, runners up in the 2010 World Cup and looked like an almost unbeatable team uh, really 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 strong and I remember that game against England. England, I think, got a 2-1 lead late in the um, second half. And then Robin more or less decides, no, the Netherlands need to win this. And within five minutes, they turned turn around. It really looked like the Netherlands are going to be a team to watch. Unfortunately, they had a really tough group with <laughs> Germany, Portugal, and Denmark. And for some reason, they managed to finish last in that and never were... Um, really a team that was in contention however going back to the jersey where they played in england my wife saw that and she said wow that's a sexy shirt and i said you think i should get that because i was looking at it at first and said this is black with a little orange stripe you know i don't like black and orange that much but she said yeah this would look really good on you and i look at it yeah i'm interested to get this because there are a few interesting features as namely this plastic taping that I never it made man never made sense when I saw it um, on the website or even there that it's but it's really just surrounded by plastic this is also plastic transfer so this is one of the few um, or maybe even the only replica shirt that I have everything is plastic transfer um, even the old now old KNVB logo uh, the lion this is all plastic here but it actually sticks over quite well i just touch it maybe a little bit the tips are coming off but yeah i was i got this before euro 2012 and i was wearing this a lot i also have to have to say that back then the dutch had this weird digital numbering style but it fit quite well right here usually i would prefer my number here but here it fit super well maybe in the double digit number with robin um rafael van der Vaart, the 23 was a little bit too wide but everything else was pretty nice. It was also um, the style of Nike at the time. It was had kind of this bubbly feel to it, but it's a very nice material. I think I got it in XL, uh, initially already in L. It was a little bit too uncomfortable. And so I got it in XL. My wife said it looks much better. And it was not the lightest dress, but it was comfortable to wear. Um, the round neck of course and then this was all the time when nike did this you have here the sleeve and then they had a different sleeve color inside um, and unfortunately the way the shirt is made i always wanted to wear it to roll the sleeve up to show the orange because i think that it looks pretty cool if you have the black and the orange but um it doesn't hold up very well that's a drawback of that 
And this was also the time when there was stuff inside of the collar. I think that's around the time, 2011, 2012, everyone started to do things here within the collar. And it says here, Neve Masters, New Masters. And you see it's also in black here, written the other way around, but of course it doesn't fit that well. So uh, this is a play on the old masters, of course, the big Dutch painters. What else on this jersey? Nothing on the back, it's just pure black. And yeah, the tag here. That's an authentic replica. Back then they didn't have the year. This came in 2014. And of course it's a replica because it says dry fit here on the bottom. I really like this one overall. I still like to wear it. I know the Dutch are not that great any anymore. Um, I never thought I will get a black Dutch away jersey as my first Dutch away jersey. I always thought it will be a white or maybe even a dark blue one. But yeah, my wife liked it, so I started to like it too, and she still likes me in that one. So that's always a good sign when your partner likes what you wear. Well, let me know what you think about this shirt. Uh, any memories attached to that one? I re remember they wore this in their last group game against Portugal, which was a must win. Of course, they didn't win. I think they got maybe the equalizer, but you know, it was Ronaldo who just took the game and uh, made sure that Portugal qualifies. Yep, let me know what you think about this shirt. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I will talk to you soon, tomorrow with the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.